Hi, this is Pastor Bob, and welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. What do you do when you have critics? You know, those people that want to know all the details, that challenge you on every facet of the faith. How do you know that Jesus died? How do you know that there's a a historical precedence for his death, his resurrection, etc., etc., etc.? You know, I used to try to answer everything, and I have some pretty good answers, but I don't have an answer for everything. I'm still learning, I'm still growing. My Christian faith is still an adventure. And I'm on that adventure and I'm learning a lot still. But what do you do? You know, the Bible never says that you're supposed to be an expert in the scripture. It never tells you that you have to give that kind of an answer to anybody. What it does say is, you know where I'm going, don't you? I use the scripture a lot. 1 Peter 3.15, give a quiet and reverent answer to anyone who asks you about the hope that you have within you. You know, people challenge you for a lot of reasons, sometimes because they're frustrated themselves, sometimes because they just want to show you that they disapprove of your faith. Whatever it might be, folks, I want you to feel comfortable about who you are. And you see, it isn't that you know every single facet of Christianity. I think it takes a lifetime to know that, I don't think we ever get there. But we know enough to get involved. We know enough to jump in. It's like a marriage. When you fall in love with that person that you're going to marry and you're going to be with for the rest of your life, you jump in. You commit. You get married. Even though you don't know the perfect the person perfectly, you know enough of them to know that they're the person you want to spend your life with. And that is true with Christianity as well. I'm not ignorant but I don't know everything. I'm still on this adventure called Christianity, and I love it. And I love being a teacher as well as a student. That's the good part. And so you don't have to give an answer for everything, folks. You simply need to give an answer for the hope that you have. 1 Peter 3.15 Be ready at any time to give a quiet and reverent answer to anyone who asks you about the hope you have within you. Folks, people aren't looking for every detail. They're looking for hope. Do you have hope today? You know, a whole lot of Christians that I know don't seem like they have any hope. One of the good reasons why a whole lot of people don't want to be Christians, that's the main part. Do you have hope today? If you don't, you need to spend that kind of time with the Lord to to get that hope, to be able to, to feel his presence, to be able to have a relationship with him. And if you do, folks, it's the best thing. You may study uh, Christianity. You may study, you know, what, uh, what makes the faith tick. And you'll probably study for the rest of your life. But hope is something you'll carry with you all the time. God bless you. Have a great day.